Alright Reefer, it's uh, another update on my 40 gallon breeder after the Dynaton is uh, totally completely wiped out. Uh, <clears throat> the thing's doing good right now. Uh, I have a lot of grow right now. Uh, a lot of SPS growing right now. See on the bottom of the plug, they they crusting it. Uh, all my coils start crusting the plug right now. And that piece that I say that is uh, dying out is thing it doesn't. It still had a little bit of lap, but I think I'm gonna throw it out. I'm not gonna wait no more. Cause I just uh, I just ordered uh, some more SPS coming in, so uh, waiting on them to come in. And look at that, my fucking goby and my shrimp. They dick all this up. And over here is my uh, blue spot jawfish. He's digging everywhere, man. Even a little hole right here. So my sand is like all over the place. And uh, I have a sippy goby right there. He's doing good. Uh, so far the goby they haven't. They're not fighting each other because they got their own little space. You know, I have a, a jawfish and a, a, another goby with a shrimp. And I have that, that uh, I don't know what you call diamond something, goby, yeah, whatever. Um, and I got a six line wrasse. Purple tank's doing good. My two pair of clowns, they are doing good. They are it's super fat. And my Cheeto are doing good. They grown pretty, pretty, pretty slow. What's this? Uh, I'm thinking oh, about going medical mud now. Mm. Probably put this chamber on medical mud. And I don't know, should I still run this? And my UV stir line. Well, I'm thinking about turning on my UV stir line if I run Miracle Mud. Then probably run my protein scammer probably like six hours or four hours. And gonna try out some Miracle Mud and see how things go. See that improve my coral color or improve the grow more faster. Uh, Everything's doing good. Nice color everywhere. Uh, I have a lot of grow. See all this stuff. They're doing fine. Not much ish issue right now. Uh, you guys see the whole view. This isn't a process. The tank is only about uh, night wheat now. Night wheat old. It's only a month and three weeks. So, not even two months, yeah. And I've been adding a whole bunch of stuff already. <laughs> Which is, I, I, I mean, you're supposed not to do that. That's not the right way to do it. But don't follow me, guys. I'm, I'm just uh, experimenting this thing out. So, I mean, so far everything's doing good. All right. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not an expert of, of reefing, uh, but you know, it's just you gotta monitor your tank and you gotta check your tank every day. That's what I do, I check my tank every day. And I also use this. See, right now I'm testing, I have my phosphate has uh, 6.8. So, see, I check my phosphate every day, I check my calcium every day, my magnesium my uh, alkalinity and I also have a chart that I I use see I, I wrote down everything every day how see see I wrote down everything you have to wrote down everything so that way you can always go back and double check when things off and I always trying to keep my calcium I mean my DKH at eight uh, some of them people keep there at 7, 9, 10, even 11. But my wheat tank is good at 8. I mean, I haven't tried 7 yet, but 
the lows I I put them down was uh, 8.0, and um, they still doing good, but the color wasn't like like popping. So I boost back up to 8.4, 8.5, you know, around there. Then they the color is popping right back up. So I guess uh, that's what they want is at 8.4 or 8.5. Uh, I haven't reached nine yet because uh, I don't think my coral like nine. So I just keep them at eight. As long as they are eight, they're not going below below eight or above eight. So I just keep mine like that. And they grow pretty, pretty slow, not super fast. But I mean, color wise, they still look nice. Can't wait till they like super big, big conny. And that's when they're gonna be like hella nice. Cause so all this piece right here, I saw the mother conny. And the mother conny was so beautiful, guys. Uh, they're popping all kinds of color. Like this one right here, as you guys see it, uh, kind of like uh, neon blue and neon green together. The mother Connie, I saw this one was the tip was like purple, man. It was purple and the base was kind of like neon green. I don't know, but it just depends on your light. And <clears throat> see all this. All this stuff right here, they are slowly grow, and hopefully they can grow super big. See they start crusting a little bit, see that? So, I mean, you know, slowly, slowly it's getting there, especially this tank is only eight months, I mean eight weeks only. So, so far I think I did something right. Uh, the the only call that died was this one because that was my fault because the diatom I had diatom blue in my tank and I changed the water every day every day so uh, the chemistry of the water was just not stabilized at all it was up and down up and down up and down so that's the reason why that one died but so far everything survived and I'm doing good so hopefully uh, my coral can grow super fast from now on. So this almost two weeks now, I haven't do any water change yet. It's kind of waiting for my salt to come in. I ran out of salt because of diatom and I changed water so much that uh, my whole bucket right here didn't last me. It didn't last me at all. It don't last me a month. That's it, it was done already. So this is what I use guys. And this saw is super fast. But, you know, when I ordered it, they ran out of this one. So I went to the other one. Uh, I'll show you guys when they get here. But, I mean, it's the same thing. Same brand. Just different different design of cover. Uh, this one, uh, this one, when you uh, test fresh out the, the uh, you know, mix, this one, DKH, is at 7. 7.4, 7.1. And the other one that I ordered coming in, they say that it should be at 8. So it should be perfect for my tank. So I'm waiting on that to come in and see if what they say that my DK should be 8. So I mean, I, I love my tank right now. They're super clean. I run the UV Sterilite 24-7. My protein scammer 24/7, even my reactor right here for my um, for the gummy pair. I run 24/7. I put two bags in there now, so two bags equal to 70 gallon, which is my tank is not be 70 gallon because I feed so heavy that uh, I have to uh, put two bags in there because uh, I have a schedule set to feed my coral. And my uh, my fish, I feed them every day, one times a day. Um, and uh, the rest of this, I uh, mean, like, my, I just feed my coral like two days, I mean, twice. Because uh, I have my schedule set up, so I just feed my coral 
two times. I mean, just one time, but I do it at night time. Because I like to feed my core during the night. That's when the polish came out. And that's when they're going to grab all the food. All right. Peace out.